is located underneath the passenger footwell and what we're looking at is the um, right hand side so the center console area there is one screw there which i've removed but there is also another screw which is in order to remove that is hidden there and if i remove those two screws that case should go off i am lying on my back in the passenger footwell it would have been great if it had just been this plastic clip which is broken that would have been the problem But it's not. Now if I operate the mechanism for this servo then which is the slider which should operate the flap to direct it to and from the footwell which I am now there's no movement. You can see up there better there's another plastic clip that operates the heater control. So if I turn the heater knob uh, I think that's hot and I think that's cold. Removing that screw and the one below to release the servo That's fine. Now I'm left with a screw, which is there, which is being fouled by plastic vent, which directs the hot air, I presume, to the footwell. Having removed the flap servo, you then you need to remove six of the screws and the back comes off and that's what it looks like on the inside. The motor's held in place by small tabs, three of them, one there. One there and one there which you have to bend back and then the motor will pull out. Having pulled the motor out, The whole thing is rusted in place. So it's just jammed in there and you can't, it won't turn. When I was removing it, I got the ignition switched on and it was warm. So it may be if I can free it up, it'll all start to operate. Added some WD-40 inside, put it in a vise, worked it a little bit. And that's the result. It's just solid with rust. Cleaned up the motor, took the rust off. And now I'll try and reinsert it. I'm putting it in without the casing because that will allow me to get the, the brushes back into place. Those two small springs that are on the brushes, that one and that one, have to go in that position on top of those little brass prongs. The end of the motor as it goes into that unit has to engage in a slot of some description. So you need to be careful that engages and you can feel that from the lever. The next issue was to persuade the spindle to go through that support hole at the end of the casing. Installed the servo that operates the flap and uh, as you may see it's now operating. So I'm now just waiting for the clip to come. 
I only installed the two, one there and one there. The other one, I tried to install it, but because of the, because of this plastic cowling that's in way, um, I gave up and that seems quite firm. So I've set the slider to put uh, the flap to the footwell and then it's just a question of installing the clip. The clip looks like, like this and it just clips in. Like that. This is pulled down, the flap's pulled down to its maximum. I have to just install that in there. Again, that's a clip. And then there's a small... So, spring clip that fits over. that's it. If I move the slider, that uh, faces to the upwards, to the windows I guess, and now that moves it flat down so the heating and hot air can go to the footwell. That's it finished.